Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to another episode of Rune Gaming. Today we are going to be discussing how to download and install Anti-Micro, which is a uh, keyboard to controller configuration app. Before we do that, I would just like to let you know about my referral link. It is located in the description beneath this video and uh, using my referral code, it will save you 20% off the cost of creating a character in Rune. And creating a character is the only way you're you're able to play Rune Evolution, which is the only arcade style play to earn video game in the space today. And uh, get in early while you still can because uh, we are going to blow up uh, bigger than Axie Infinity. That is a guarantee, not financial advice. All right, first off, I'm going to show you how to uh, download Anti Micro uh, keyboard to uh, controller configuration. Uh, so we go into our browser here and uh, we have Google and we type in anti-micro into Google looks like it's already typed in for us here so uh, we just uh, click enter and uh, anti-micro is located on github which is right here so we're just gonna click this and uh, it says here that the latest release is 2.23 so we're just gonna go ahead and click that and uh, I am using Windows operating system and the best version of uh, anti-micro to uh, use for Windows is win32.msi so we're gonna go ahead and click that there we're gonna click save here and as you can see it's just downloading in the bottom left hand corner of the screen so we're just gonna go ahead and click that and uh, we're gonna click yes here it's gathering the required information and uh, looks like it's all set so uh, we're going to go to our desktop screen and as you can see on the left here our anti micro icon is here uh, located uh, next to our wallpaper of uh, the beautiful world of Hera this is the world map of uh, rune uh, rune sanctuary the uh, upcoming hotly anticipated 3D RPG play to earn game. It is coming out next year and uh, everyone is very excited about that including myself I mean get items now guys uh, while it's still early and while they're still cheap because all the NFT items you purchase are uh, cross-platform you can use them for each game in the rune metaverse so uh, what we want to do next is uh, configure our anti-micro we want to configure our keyboard and mouse keys to our video game controller keys so we're going to click the icon here and uh, what we have to do is plug in our controller there we go and uh, I am using an arcade style joystick uh, which is uh, really uh, coming in handy for me. The reason I switched uh, is because when I first started playing uh, Rune Evolution, the first week that I was playing, I was only using the arrow keys on the keyboard. And it was killing my fingers, guys. Like, oh boy, like I'd be waking up the next day wondering, why are my fingers hurting so much? Then I'd realize, oh yeah, I was playing Rune Evolution last night using the arrow keys on the keyboard. So I never want to put myself through that type of pain again. I don't want to see you guys have to put yourself through that type of pain. So I'm going to show you how to configure uh, your uh, keyboard and mouse to your video game controller. So uh, what we want to do here, this is the... Uh, up button on the uh, keyboard uh, for the arrow key we're going to click that and uh, we're going to configure it with uh, the up button on the keyboard and that plugs into our controller we're going to do the same with the right button we're going to do the same with the down arrow key button on the keyboard to configure it to our video game controller and we're going to do the same with the uh, left button here so as you can see uh, the directional uh, joystick is uh, configured with the keyboard. Uh, we can even do diagonals here, which is good. And uh, I just want to let you guys know about this uh, pro tip here that I use. And uh, basically, uh, when you die in Rune Evolution, uh, in order to respawn, you have to click a button in the middle of the screen. So uh, what I do is I uh, leave uh, my uh, cursor in the middle of the screen. So then uh, when I die, I just, uh, instead of moving the cursor, all the way over here taking up uh, precious seconds of time to respawn I leave it in the middle of the screen here and I uh, set the uh, start button on my uh, on my uh, joystick controller uh, to the uh, left click button on the mouse and I'm going to show you how to go about that 
you just uh, click that button there you go into mouse and then uh, you just click left button here so then uh, that way you can just uh, click the start button on your controller to uh, respawn in much quickly to get back into the game keep eating those sprites keep killing those players and getting those points to win rounds actually there's one more thing almost the most important thing we have to save the settings so uh, we just go to save here and uh, for file name you can uh, you can just uh, click, you can just uh, type anything you want, but uh, what I am going to call it is Rune Evolution, and that way I won't get confused of anything else. So then you just want to save it right there, and uh, everything is uh, working like a charm. That's great, and uh, I'd just like to thank you guys for joining me today, and I'd like to wish you a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next video.